So just to continue after the clothing, I've gone more, just to record this bit myself, it's going to be a bit easier with it being closer up than having Joe do it with me. I can't hold them in the air and explain them. So this is more of the electrics that I'm going to be taking, just to run through everything with you. First of all, is the old faithful old-fashioned Apple earphones with the jack on them. The reason for that is it's just one less thing to charge, but also... With having just earbuds, you're more likely to lose them, I think. So having them on a, the old school wire will make them a lot safer and a lot less likely to lose them. Um, and obviously, like I say, less charging to be done. The other leads I'm going to take, I'm going to take try and take two of everything just to make town charging a lot faster because we're limited for time. So the plug I'm going to be using to charge things is a 20-watt Twick plug adapter that works worldwide. It's got the American connector on it, the British connector and the European. It's also got two parts on the side. One old school USB and one new USB-C, which is going to allow me to charge two devices up at the same time. Because it's got the two things, I've decided that I'm going to take two leads of everything just to speed up charging. So every lead I'm going to take is going to have the new USB-C charger port. And also I'm going to take one with the old school USB charger port on it. So this one, for instance, is the lightning charger for my phone and my battery case on top of that i'm going to take one with the like i say the new usb connector on the end and same again with a usb at the other end and a usb c at one end the watch i'm deciding to take is nothing flash really it's just a smart watch um comes with a charger what i really like about this watch is pretty much takes about 20 minutes to fully charge and it lasts about three weeks when fully charged it'll still track my steps um geo tag me so i can look back on a map of the distance i've gone and all your normal really statistics you need it doesn't really go into any depth but it's just a really easy watch to use really the garmin inreach mini 2 is what we've decided to take mostly because it's lightweight everyone recommends it this will be used for, again, tracking us in case of an emergency. We can use it as a satellite phone. Um, we have a few contacts put in there for emergencies, again, family, friends. The SOS button will be set up. And we've already signed up to the package for this as well. So that's all ready to go. We are going to watch a video on this to get more trained up and ready to use it. So hopefully by the time we come to use it, we'll have a bit more knowledge on it. But today I'm just going to quickly run through the items. Um, down to power banks. A lot of people take 20,000 milliamps. That was my plan as well. Unfortunately, I forgot to take it out of my hold of luggage. And it was taken off me at the airport and destroyed. So I've now got the 20,000. But I was going to take a 10,000 milliamp spare anyway. And on top of that, I'm going to be taking my iPhone 14 Pro. And... Again, a spare, I was going to take a case, which actually can charge your phone as well. So, that is 7,000 milliamps on that case. And then, on top of that, again, I was going to take it for an emergency. It's a 3,000 milliamp emergency charger. It looks quite big, but actually it's really small and really very, very light. And that is 3,000 milliamps. So, actually, between the three devices... I've got a 20,000 milliamp charger that I wanted to take. It just means now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to charge three different things when I get to town. In addition to everything else I've mentioned, obviously I was filming it at the time, but for our vlogging, I'm going to be using the Osmo Pocket D by DJI 3. It's just a vlogging camera with a built-in gimbal. Really easy to use, quite small and compact. Unlike an action camera like a GoPro, which most people use, it's not waterproof, so I'm going to have to be really careful with it when I'm not using it, make sure it's stored away, which is why I'm going to put all my electrics in a, a waterproof bag. As well as this, it has an inbuilt battery. It also has a small additional battery, a larger battery, microphone, SD cards, a tripod, dead cat or wind muff, and it comes in a protective case. So when you're not using this, you can just pop it away. And as you can see, protects the camera. On top of that, I'm going to probably put it in the storage bag. Um, it might be a little bit more weight. It's just going to keep things a lot neater and tidier. So that'll keep it protected as well. So um, that'll be what we'll be recording most of the stuff on. 
and obviously what I've recorded the rest of the video on. As well as the electrics, we're obviously going to be taking a first aid kit and a thermal blanket each for an emergency. Now, my first aid kit at the moment looks quite big and bulky. We're filming this at the moment in Finland, where we're just having a bit of a rest time. So it gives you an idea of where we are. Um, we have to fly over to the US shortly to start, obviously, our planning in San Diego, which means we can't decant a lot of the medication and tablets yet into smaller portions what we'll be taking out on the on the trail so at the moment that's kind of my first aid bag but i'm going to do a video in america a bit more detail about first aid style once we're able to decant the tablets into a smaller more convenient package um this is our bathroom so it's all our um, washing stuff and i'm going to go at that now so here's my very basic wash bag lined out for you I'm going to be taking just a small tube of toothpaste that I'm hopefully just going to use until I get from town to town and then swap it out. A toothbrush with a protecting case around it. Again, a lot of people say that they end up throwing the case away just to save some weight, but in all honesty, for the weight of that, it's not really worth it. I'm not trying to light like backpack like a lot of people are. Um, some tweezers and nail clippers just to keep my toenails down and fingernails down, really, without biting them. A brush. That's also a comb. I think I got it off an Emirates flight once. It's been quite useful. It's really light. It doesn't weigh anything at all. Again, people say you stop caring, but let's see how we start off. Um, I'm going to take some earplugs just in a little packet. Again, just to put the noise down. But also, I think when we get started, being from the UK, I think we might be a bit nervous of noises in the bush. So I think I might just dumb it down enough to make us fall asleep on a night. A little washcloth. I'm going to cut that in half and use half and half at a time because it is quite a large washcloth and I'm going to be taking a, a medium size microfiber towel just to obviously get dried um, I'm going to take a smaller buff piece of a buff just to um, wash dishes um, but I'll, I'll go into that in more detail later on that's the actual wash bag I'm going to be putting it all in made of mesh so it'll dry quickly probably leave it in my bag all the time anyway but it will just help air get through it so it doesn't get smelly or mouldy and Joe got these little discs online and when you add water to them they open up into like a flannel so because we've got some home we're going to give them a, a try to and just see how they perform and if they're any good we might start using them because they're a lot more compact single use we can use them and get rid of them afterwards and finally tub of vitamin d tablets it's also going to have some iron tablets in them as well um i have been told that i have weaker bones so i need to keep up my vitamin d best i can anyway so these are essential for me i got a case of the restless legs yeah timeless wandering 